Hey, what is up guys? My name is Thomas Spark, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Omegle. Now, Omegle is one of these older kind of uh, online chat room services. Basically, what you do is you go into the website and you want to start chatting with someone. You just get matched up with someone random. Now, you can do text or video chat. And they also have adult sections and things like that, as well as newer abilities to talk to people about specific interests or um, match up with your Facebook likes, stuff like that. There's also even a college student section. So overall, it's a pretty cool website if you just want to have some fun talking to strangers and stuff like that. Now, there are ways to get banned on Amigo. Maybe you did this on accident. Maybe you were trolling. Maybe you don't want to troll anymore. You just want to use the website uh, responsibly. So if that happens and you do get banned, the way it works is that your IP address from your computer is banned. So if you're using a Maggle and you get banned and you go on the same computer, you're probably not gonna be able to go on the website anymore. You might have to wait a couple of weeks or something like that. Now with a VPN, you can actually change your IP address and get around this restriction so you can start chatting again. Now, I wouldn't really recommend this if you're just trying to troll people or just trying to do bad things with this, but maybe you got banned on accident or maybe you learned your lesson and you wanna just get chatting. All right, so let's say you do get banned on Omegle and you want to unban yourself from the website. Um, the way you're going to do this is you're going to use a VPN. Now, I wouldn't recommend using free VPNs out there since you're going to get kind of slow speeds while using the internet and you're really not going to be able to um, use Omegle that long with these free VPNs and they're just going to kind of try to transfer you into some kind of paid service. A lot of these services are unsecure and stuff like that. Not only that, but if you're a fan of torrenting or anything like that, you want to keep a secure IP address as well. So VPN is also going to be useful there. Now, which VPNs do I recommend for Omegle? Well, if you've seen my top 10 VPN video of 2017, you would know that I like a couple VPNs. If you want to check out that video down below, feel free. My top three VPN recommendations for Omegle would be TorGuard VPN, IPVanish, and Private Internet Access. All right, guys, thanks for watching this quick tutorial video on Omegle. If you have any questions about how to unblock Omegle with a VPN, let me know in the comments down below. But essentially what you're going to do is pick a VPN provider, um, sign up for a subscription, and then once you do that, you're going to connect to a server that's pretty close to your location. Once you do that, it's going to give you an anonymous IP, and then you can connect to Omegle unlocked. Now, play responsibly on Omegle, chat responsibly, and be a good little boy or girl. Uh, my name is Tom Spark, signing out of this VPN tutorial with best10vpn.com.